Hi, do the trade unions represent the interests of the working class anymore? I say no, and it's been that way for a very long time, with a deliberate demise of just about every form of blue-collar industry, thanks to globalization, the points of production disappearing elsewhere throughout the globe, trade union membership in the UK has shrunk from about 12 million to less than 6 million in about 40 years. They have become the willing handmaidens of a decaying capitalism, don't represent the slightest danger or challenge to the system of which they are now an integral part. Maybe over a hundred years ago, pre-World War I here in the UK, when unionism was streaked with syndicalism, where strikes involved violent, sometimes deadly confrontations with the forces of the state, revolutionary ideas spreading amongst sections of the working class, a period long forgotten and written out of history, unionism really did have a real subversive, combative meaning and expression. Now it resembles nothing more than a toothless bulldog. Not even that. It merely, the vast majority of it, represents the sectionalised interests of middle-class white-collar employees in the public sector who individually, as a mass, do not identify themselves as working class or their beleaguered interests. Take the proposed removal of pensioners' winter fuel allowance by this freshly elected Labour government. Not a peep from the unions, no rocking of the Labour administration, whose party they subsidise. As a whole, the working class as a total entity have been abandoned by the unions and Labour. There's no pretense, and they can't even bear to use the term working class, substituting it with a meaningless term, working people. The working class effectively have no representation anywhere. This never-ending situation of decline, accumulation of wealth at the top, growing governmental authoritarianism requires a completely different response from below that bypasses unions, labour, its leftist lapdogs, something that penetrates far into the class as a whole, that stretches far beyond the bounds of paid employment, something revolutionary, different, autonomous. Bye.